Hello, everybody. It is me, Jackie, coming in. I um, I was not scheduled to do a live stream at this point in the day. Generally, my class is at 7 p.m., but tonight we are unable to um, be available at that time. I am unavailable to be at that time. So I am coming in now to give us uh, a nice solstice update and just a, a little version of my Friday night webinar in a little bit earlier. So I am glad that anybody can tune in. I don't expect anyone on Facebook, but I will try and pay attention to see if uh, anybody is messaging on there. If not, this will be in my YouTube as well, so you'll be able to find it in there. So without further ado, I will get started. And um, I would love to just send a big, huge hug out to everybody right now, because I think we could all use one. It's been some pretty cool stuff that's been happening. And um, this has been a time where a lot of us are really coming into some big realizations, not even just about the things that we're ready to let go of, but it's like this huge shift is happening, our awareness is changing, our understanding is growing and getting bigger every day, organically and gradually, just as it's supposed to be. And I feel like we are where we are now because we have come so far, because we have been through the things that we've been through, because we are a spirit that has come into this body form to be able to experience, to learn, to teach, and understanding how vibration really works, how energy really works, and understanding the amount of control that we have over it by enabling ourselves to, to truly connect into ourselves again, to really connect to others, to ask for this greater understanding and it's being received and it's you know you can kind of see right now there's two types of people there's the type of person that's kind of on this ascension path that is seeing these things and wants to change them and is really working towards that and then you see the version of the people that are really quite stuck and don't think that there's anything wrong and think that it's everybody else and are not willing to change or look at that and it's becoming very sort of crystal clear and we've also been seeing a lot of truths about people it's like we're we're really seeing people for their true colors and perhaps they were always showing them but at this point in your journey you've likely been finding that there's just you you realize when you're with these people how you feel and how your vibration is and how it it like pinches everything off and kind of constricts things and you just you're really making these choices now from your heart for yourself. This is what that self-love and that self-worth is, where you realize the energy that is coming in and the energy that you are reciprocating with and how it makes you feel and, and whether you actually want it to actually be there or not. You can, you can choose that. We're understanding that it's all about our reaction, about our response. And if we can take just a moment to breathe and perhaps even longer than a moment, we can decipher, we can discern what is really, truly good for us. And now we get the choice to make that an actual thing, to actually change the pattern, not do what we used to do from all of those beliefs that we used to have, all of those feelings that we used to try and hide or avoid or even take on ourselves so that others didn't have to there's been a big shift in just how we what we're willing to to sort of have in and around us because when you're making the true choice of living a life that you really love and keeping the highest vibration that you can you want to be around people that are helping to raise that vibration you want to be around places that help to raise that vibration you want to be doing the things that you enjoy doing or, or even feeling as good as you can doing the things that you have to do because it's going to raise your vibration it's going to help you be open to all of these opportunities that are coming in ah, there's so much just racing into my mind about all of the things that um 
have come about in the last week. But some of the things that were really profound that I saw with people was this sort of, I got this kind of feeling like it's, it, it's been, <laughs> if you look at the Schumann frequency, there was some really neat things that happened last week and some of the cosmic influences are like was this a glitch i don't know if it's if it if it can this be we've never seen this before and this is something that's recorded by nasa the the schumann frequency or you may hear it also be called the the earth's heartbeat it's not so much a pulsing the pulsing apparently only happens every i don't know 27 million years or something but there's a, a a low grade frequency that's always um it's kind of like our blueprint center in the physical form how we have that energetic level that's right around us the blueprint center well the earth kind of has the same thing about 60 miles out in the atmosphere there's this kind of boundary and this is where they're measuring this frequency in between the earth's surface and and that about i think it's about 60 miles out and what happens is when there's lightning it builds in that atmosphere just in that particular level and it it sort of generates energy around the world and and balances out and it's kind of like its own little wave pattern and so this frequency generally sits around seven seven or eight seven point eight three is the general uh frequency that it's at and that's why that's also a healing frequency if you're if you're doing sound healing or um music the binaural beats things like that and it's also the alpha wave state of the brain so when we wake up we're in that state of being at one with that frequency of the earth and so i believe it was around the middle of the month like around the 15th so just last week um that was like thursday it uh I actually wrote down what they were because it was so wild. It jumped up to 62, which is pretty high. We've had higher with solar flares and things like that. And then the next day it sort of dropped back down. And then on the weekend, it kind of stayed lower. It didn't do anything crazy. And all of a sudden it went offline on Monday. And this was also when the new moon was. And and then solstice, right? Like it was really neat how this it's it's not an accident right it's not coincidental and as it went offline what happened when it went back online it was jacked up to 190 and it stayed there for like 24 hours and so people were like everyone was logging in and saying like is this wrong is this a mistake what's going on I've, i've never seen this and and then it sort of uh went back down again but it was still i think it was the next day it was on the russian monitor still showing at 190 so it was like kind of profound because it's never it usually it'll jump up but it's back down within like you know max 12 hours this stayed there and often it shifts just little bits um you know through the minutes it's, it was just wild and so what happens then it's kind of like being upshifted into consciousness so we all of a sudden we've been doing this conscious education we've been asking for you know to be conscious to be present this all of a sudden kind of just sort of shifted us and a lot of people they had to like lay down and rest and it's funny because i even um in my own mind i i had to this one day i just had to like listen to a meditation and shut her down for a couple hours in the afternoon and um it was that's an odd thing for me and I was beating myself up I'm like oh gosh you're being lazy like that's your problem you're just lazy and I was talking to myself like that and I thought oh what an awful frequency what an awful vibration to sort of put in and I even found I was like trying to go into gratitude and I couldn't get there from there I had to sort of go into acceptance a little bit and be like what is going on so I looked it up on NASA because I'm always interested and lo and behold, here's this chart. And then I got sent a video from Verena that talked about the way that it was being pictured when it was studied and it looked like a strand of DNA. And it was just wild. Like I was just getting all these messages from people in different ways um, about this frequency. So it's like yeah, something definitely shifted there. And then that brought me to another huge realization. You know, this this water experiment that I've spoken of with Dr. Emoto and how we are almost all water. And when we're putting energy into something, I go back to my my Care Bear Stare analogy where 
what we're putting out from our heart is like, you know, building in, in the world and, and changing things. And so um, lately I've had this vision of almost like as you have each thought, which changes every, you know, like millisecond, it's energy intention is followed by energy. Energy is always going to follow that intention. So where's your care based struggle? What's your intention? If it is feeling more like I just don't want to be broke, I just don't want to be alone, I just don't want to be whatever it is, uh, I'm lazy, all of the, it's building, it's getting the opportunity to dump more of that in there. So I was envisioning it as like these timelines in like a matrix type movie where it was just like, they were just being shelled out into this timeline that I'm sort of not intending. And I was able to kind of correct it back to, okay, just having this control of just not letting it be a wild fire hose and just allowing it to really follow that intention. And it just, it's been easier and easier this week and it's going to get easier and easier as the week goes through. But I'd like to talk really quickly just about some of the things that are going on cosmically because Monday, Tuesday, we might have sort of some moments of big emotions still coming up. Um, just post all of this. It's This weekend is kind of a, a need to likely hunker down a little bit and reset. It's sort of like plugging in your phone for, I mean, even my computer was doing updates this morning. We have these updates, but then it needs to install. It needs to just like when you're feeling better, when you've come back from vacation, you need to, you need to kind of let your body adjust into this new vibration because this vibration is always out there this timeline is always out there we've put it out there already it exists it's got your pixels in there it's got your i've been seeing poker chips coming in with someone i was meditating with this week um this buildup of energy so just it's just adding more to it just stay focused right on on what it is that you're intending um and so as the week goes on we'll have a little bit more of a boost in that so i'll go through really quickly just what what i would really intend for the weekend to be able to to try and make the most out of it because this is where your your soul is actually going to be able to do that expand this is a chance to let go of over control um you know trying to make up your mind to please others oftentimes when we make the decision to do what feels right for us it's actually better for them as well when we over control things we can tend to steer things in the wrong direction and then it's the path of most resistance for everyone rather than the path of least resistance we can do that by doing all the time being in that masculine doing energy and not allowing ourselves to take that inspired action when we sometimes have the opportunity to finally do that We're too tired from all of the doing. So this over control is being ready to be let go uh, with this whole solstice energy with this weekend coming in. The moon is also sort of the farthest away. We're coming into the full moon next week. So this is why this stuff is just going to sort of come up to kind of do the the final sweep after this huge eclipse or huge, well, the eclipse as well as the solstice it's been so like some really big buildups and you can see that energetically being measured in the planets right it's pretty wild so a lot of times this looks like getting caught up in the past a little bit kind of allowing the the past to define us rather than understanding that we had to learn what we had to learn to be able to be here now to make a different decision and that we have that opportunity to make that choice that's the best for us to actually really feel as incredible and capable and worthy as you are all of the planetary influences are coming in right now to support that we've got jupiter coming in over the weekend it's in retrograde now so that's going to intensify that self-worth that that um almost feeling ready to actually believe in yourself. Like, it's like you actually kind of, we're understanding the whole faith thing a little bit more. The whole, it's not just talking positively, saying positive affirmations. It's actually, this is our connection to have faith and all of this supercharged energy from the sun, it's opening up the crown chakra. And the cool thing about the body is that are it has frequency as well so when you look at the top of the head my head's tiggling just thinking about it my crown is opening 
it's over a thousand um, hertz, uh, like the earth is sets at seven. Our, our skull, the top of our head is around a thousand. It gets a little bit lower as you go down the body to like 147, something like that to 90s. It gets down lower to 60. Once your frequency is really low, if it, it was, you know, under 50, that's also kind of like the frequency scale of emotions it's going to attract more of that so it's going to attract more of the fear the guilt the shame the lower frequencies but it's also going to be that's when this water experiment that i was talking about comes into play what kind of frequency are you putting into your own cells our bodies are almost all water so whatever our intention is wherever that care bear stare is going that is the frequency that we're feeding our body and so when we're aware of this all together, it's you can't get to, you know, that super low frequency to that super high frequency from just trying to jump there. You'll feel stuck. You'll feel like I just can't get there. It's just going up a few emotions at a time, a few frequencies at a time. The beautiful thing about solstice and, and doing ritual is that you can bring it up in so many ways by using essential oils. I've talked a lot about how high they are in frequency, doing a little bit of self-care, salt water, being, you know, even if it's just a foot soak, if you can't have a whole bath in Epsom salts, um, really being dialed into the, the, the frequency part of things, feeling that, that um, appreciation of being able to have that bath, not just being like, I'm really grateful for, really grateful for my oil, you know, but being like, oh, this plant, like this, this is copaiba, this is something, it's derived from four different Amazon trees, it's got BCP in it, that's like CBD oil, so you can put it under your tongue, it's like bear medicine that you would use in a sweat, it's going to heal your body from the inside out, the inflammation, the, you know, like there's so many, I'm just so like this, I'm holding this little bottle of magic in my hands, you know, like it just, it feels so different from just like, I appreciate my oils, I appreciate my crystals, you know, like, it's just going into that feeling. And that's the same thing with manifesting. That's the same thing with being. That's why frequency is so important, you know, being in that right frequency to be open to all these opportunities, because they're coming after this solstice. This is the true manifestation time. This is when we're going to do that, see it, be it, feel it, because now we have understood that we're a tuning fork that just, you know, we're just dialing in the frequency is always there it's just a matter of are we going to match it what frequency are we at we just need to match that frequency of the universe and it feels so much better you have so much more control you have so much more peace you have so much more space you have you know maybe i've just been meditating too much this week because i've been doing it all day long and it's just so wonderful and you know feeling that it's just allowing me to feel more of it and more of it and it's true so um balancing your energy field this weekend it you may not be able to just stay in but you may really feel like it and if you do i want you to not beat yourself up for it i want you to actually take um that time to just listen to the air conditioner or the fan or do absolutely nothing because what's happening then is you're not spitting any poker chips in any direction you're in neutral you're stopping that merry-go-wheel merry-go-round whatever it is that crazy contraption that kids play on that if it's going so fast you just you have to find the right spot to jump on and you probably will fall off like it's it's kind of kamikaze right you want to allow that merry-go-round to stop that that procession of pixels creating timelines to just stop and be and listen and connect with source because we are source and those messages that frequency is there all the time just literally to tap in and tune in and turn on because you are turned on being now and now it's like okay so what frequency do you want to be at knowing that we get to make this choice knowing we get to choose the people around us knowing we get to choose the control that we have oh my frog is back that's so funny i have this frog every once in a while when i'm sort of getting into the field that pops into my window and uh that's hilarious i haven't i haven't seen him for a few days and here he is so this is this is going to be good um we're really kind of coming into our authentic self we're really kind of being urged to let that self-compassion really flow, let that kindness flow into our body, even if you can just kind of instill 
kindness into the different parts of your body. I love doing that as almost like a meditation um, to fall asleep. I try and instill kindness and softness into every part of my body and I'll start at the top of the head and just allow it um, and have fun because these the solstice light, one of the biggest things is it's here to amplify our gifts. A lot of us aren't sure, sure for sure. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Our gifts are going to be amplified by this solstice light. Those, those, um, that true highest self, that version of us that we're ready to meet again, that we're ready to come back home to, that we're ready to remember, that we're ready to honor, that um, wounded child, that little child that's sort of been in inside of us for so long, that one that ha can just have that excitement and that anticipation is ready to sort of come out and play again. And in the solstice light, some of these things, if we're looking for them, if we're in that vibration, are going to be dropping into us like new gifts, new clairvoyances, new um, healing modalities you didn't even know you could do or wanted to do. Things are gonna be kind of dropping into your field as you get into this higher level of consciousness, into this new vibration. It's kind of like stepping into this timeline and now finally allowing all the things to follow you, finally allowing those poker chips to just all fall in there. There's all the money is there, all of the all of the joy, all of the stability, all of the freedom, the healing, it's all right there. So it's just a matter of kind of tapping into it. This is going to be your new way of living. This is that transformation. It's just really starting to feel like it. You're learning how to fly. That eagle medicine has been coming out a lot. Um, like I said, Monday, Tuesday are going to be a little bit, um, sh they're going to be showing some truths. They're just going to be kind of allowing you to do this refocusing act after now jumping on the merry-go-round to, you know, make sure you have your balance before it starts spinning too quickly. You being in your, in your vortex, being able to kind of control which vortex it is that you're jumping on. Um, and knowing really that this is an opportunity to kind of conduct ourselves with dignity, with self-reliability, with accountability. This gives us an opportunity to be our authentic selves. This gives us some opportunities to test out this physical body that we have in this realm, everybody that is on the same kind of path is doing this collectively. So it's like you have this boost of the collective energy behind you. And it's just a matter of connecting with your tribe. And the more that you vibrate on that, the more you spend your energy in that positive place, the more you're just going to sort of end up attracting. There's this is this it's I feel like saying like this is your time, you know, this is your time to shine. It's going to be really exciting. We get to understand that these are new choices that just because we experience something that may have um, been a way of keeping us safe and now we get to choose to thrive instead of survive we get to choose to take control of our systems what's going in and on and around our bodies our fields you know really sort of um allowing our gifts to come through allowing allowing yourself to daydream a little bit to really get into that space um tuesday wednesday you may be even sort of feeling a little bit on the emotional side thursday friday saturday you're going to feel this shift after wednesday because you're going into the full moon now so it's kind of like um those last those last things that you needed to know for this cycle because of course we learn more every day every week but the big things to unlock some of this stuckness that has been happening in really big ways are are going to just show you real clarity but not in a tumultuous way not in a eclipse style way where it like swept the rug out from under your feet and you had to do these major changes it's going to be more just the beauty of the aha moments I think that's why I wanted to share this with you because knowing this, we can instill that kindness on ourselves. We can instill that love on ourselves. 
cells, move it down your body in every way, giving each part of your body that love and that kindness, and really allowing yourself to um, experience self love, to really connect with yourself to really enjoy this ride that you're on and see what this machine can do. So I think with that, what I'd like to do is just bring us into a quick meditation. I will, I feel like I'd like for us all to be able to connect with that earth's heartbeat and feel it. So let's take a few moments and feel ourselves ground. Get comfortable like you're supported in the most beautiful way, however that way works for you feeling that support of gravity just holding you. And we're just going to connect with our breath for a few moments. Just notice if it feels constricted or if it feels like it's going in nice and big, if it's filling up your belly or if it just feels like it's in the chest and try to do some minor adjustments with just allowing your breath. to fill your belly as big as it can. And as you breathe out, try and relax every muscle in your body. Try and relax the skull and the head. Try and tune into the frequency of your crown chakra. And after we've done this, we're gonna tune back into that frequency and you'll feel how much easier it comes. But I have a feeling you can feel it start to open almost like it's like a a volcano opening up and there's this or a, a flower opening up and there's just all this beautiful spirit dust starting to expand from your crown as it starts to attract the light from the summer solstice It's like hitting a tuning fork and having your whole crown just start to open up to that cosmic energy. And right now I'd like you to just pay attention to your feet and what your feet feel like. Are they touching the, the earth? Are they, do you have your soles planted down on the ground? If you're laying down, I would almost even like to encourage you to bend your knees and have the palms of your feet on the floor. Because we're going to go and ground into the Earth's energy, into Mother Gaia, deep down into the core of the Earth. And I want you to feel as though there's either roots or anchors coming down out from your feet. And as these roots or these anchors are coming down from your feet, there may even be some coming from the spine down underneath your root chakra. You may feel a little gentle pull as these roots and these anchors are starting to come down and I want you to imagine they're going all the way down into the earth through all the layers and when they hit that middle of the earth I want you to almost feel as though it's like a a fishing a weighted fishing hook hitting the bottom of the water where there's a distinct kind of a tap kind of a indication that you've reached down into the middle of Mother Gaia's beautiful earth energy. And as it does that, I want you to notice that it feels much like a vacuum turning on. Kind of like a vacuum that's gentle, but it's pulling you down. It's making you feel heavy. It's grounding your feet. It's holding you strong. It's It's like this energetic vacuum that's going to start just gently irrigating and moving through your system, vacuuming out some of these things that we're ready to let go of, some of these things that we don't even know about. I 
And we're just going to allow that vacuum to gently do its work. Feeling heavy, feeling like even if you wanted to walk away and step off of this, that you couldn't. It's a direct connection and it's drawing any dense energy down. It's drawing down any limiting beliefs, any things that any patterns, any stories that we've been telling that we're truly just ready to let go of, even if we don't know what they are. We're going to trust that the superconscious field and Mother Earth and her magic vacuum know exactly what to draw out of the body. And I want you to just imagine that your feet in this path that you've been walking on, this journey that you've had throughout this lifetime of yours, all of these stories, they're all stored down in the legs, the way you present yourself, the way you're going. Noticing that they're starting to feel like they're being vacuumed out. Like there's this draw, this pull that's just drawing all of the old stuff that has been just strapped around your legs like toddlers that don't want to walk just they're just being vacuumed off and vacuumed it down you can actually almost feel it as they're getting sucked off and sucked out of your energy field out of your legs out of your systems and now moving up into that root chakra and it's actually starting to vacuum out and really give a deep cleaning to those ancestral patterns that have been stuck in there to those familial stories that have been told for past generations. The solstice energy is to literally allow a lot of these ancestral patterns, a lot of this true generational change to happen. So many stories, so many things that have been carried around for so many generations. I'd like you to just choose to allow this vacuum to uninstall a lot of this pain that's been carried around and just leave room for that wisdom, that those true stories that will build strength and tradition and love and kindness. any of those stories that you've been told over time, just allowing the energy and the cords of the earth to be treating those right now and just removing them from your field where it's taking up so much airtime and space so that it can operate at a frequency that benefits you, that allows you to stop being pinched off. And as you move into the sacral plexus right now with some beautiful orange energy, allow those financial blocks, those financial abundant blocks, those stories, those beliefs, those things that have been latched on and being carried for so long, allow them to gently be suctioned back down into the earth. Oof, my ears just shifted frequency there. Notice how your frequency is starting to already lighten and rise. As those little things are being vacuumed away, it's actually starting to rise in frequency as that, that energy field cleans, transmutes, clears, balances. All of those old stories around finances, all those things that you've been believing that you're just really ready to let go of. And as it does that, it creates more space into your solar plexus, into that beautiful divine spark in your belly, that one that has those deep desires, those things you just love doing. Those rules around having to have a real job, those rules around having to have things a certain way, having to be a certain way, having to hide, having to be safe, all your parts in there, allowing all of these parts to let go of any old contracts, let go of any old patterns of keeping you safe as we start to open up and get into this frequency of the heart. Just allow that energy, that vacuum 
to start feeling like you can feel the bottom of that heart chakra being pulled down into the earth with that beautiful vacuum energy, just removing all that, that layer that's at the bottom, that's between your solar plexus and your heart, that, that, that sort of mossy, mucky layer, that sludgy stuff. Just let that all release into the vacuum of Mother Gaia. Taking a nice deep receiving breath and just allowing that to shift. Notice gurgles in your body. Notice sometimes the high heart will flutter. It's not your heart necessarily skipping a beat, but it's your thymus tap. That's why we thump our chest to get that beautiful craniosacral rhythm of the body in sync with the heartbeat. And as we move into these higher frequencies, I want you to start to feel the blue energy of the throat chakra expanding around you, around your jaw as your frequency is starting to rise. You're starting to tap into this human frequency, into the earth's heartbeat, into this beautiful alpha state. You're starting to realize that speaking your truth is really helping others because it's your truth, it's from the heart. It's not reactive, it's not hurtful, it's kind and love. And it's laying down these beautiful pixels in that kindness and love timeline. Just allowing your throat to be starting to pour all of these pixels into this beautiful new life of living with your higher self as you tap into the earth's frequency as she starts to give you this energy from above that's starting to fill your body with light it's starting to pour in through your third eye into your face into the top of your head like you're feeling pulled from above now this beautiful magnetic energy just expanding your whole field expanding it for this beautiful expansive state where you're coming out of contraction and I want you to imagine your body feeling uncontracted and as you're in this beautiful space you can see your higher self right in front of you you can see them in an energetic way in a color way in a physical way this higher self, it's not so far from you now. Look how far you've come. There's just a few little things that still weren't coming and we're ready for them now in a way that we've never been. And I want you to ask for those things now. Choosing to be ready for true abundance in every way, in healthy relationships, in balance, in health, in harmony prosperity, love, truth, courage, strength, compassion, joy, absolute happiness, appreciation, anticipation, excitement, exuberance. See this higher self experiencing all of these emotions. just felt my high heart thump. Noticing those patterns, choosing to let those be released in the vacuum of those little resistances that came up for you just now in feeling like you don't want to feel like you have more than others, some entitlement, you don't want to be, you want to be taking away from anyone and just knowing that you expanding right now like this is enabling others to expand you have more to give you feel like sharing your energy you feel like sharing your wisdom you feel like sharing your kindness and compassion when you're allowing yourself to have it and just envision this this beautiful highest version of yourself with all the gifts and just ask to be shown all the ways this week. 
your true gifts, your true passions, what it is you truly desire. And now having faith, this week's whole message is about truly being able to have faith that it's going to happen. Hold this vibration steady. Hold this true as you feel the Schumann frequency, the Earth's frequency radiate around you, creating healing energy. Feeling your brain set to that alpha state. As all of your cells can expand to the frequency that they're supposed to be at. Recalibrating all of the frequencies of the body right now. This is the beauty of this energy. It heals. It allows the cells to reset. It allows that momentum to go in the right direction. And now just choosing to allow that vacuum to keep cleaning and clearing up the field in any way. As you feel this white light, this beautiful whitish goldish, highly energized solar eclipse move through your body, cleansing and clearing anything else out that you simply didn't even know was there, but that was holding you back. And making this true choice to live your true nature and purpose, to actually love this life that you have, to create every moment as though it were your last, to savor the journey not be so stuck on where you're going, but actually enjoying the day where you wake up and you realize you have this new gift or this new premonition or this new synchronicity, savoring each moment every single day. As much as you can, noticing what isn't feeling good, noticing when you're having a feeling that just lowers that vibration that pinches you off, Note that that's your sign to choose to change it. I want you to invite your higher self to come into your bubble, to come into your energy frequency, to join as one with you if that feels right to finally invite that higher self in, to know that all of the ascended masters, that God, that spirit, we are all one. It's just the ability to be able to slow down enough to connect with it. And as your beautiful higher self joins you, you can come back to this 3D plane where we're gonna finally start seeing those manifestations show up. We've been doing the work, we've been doing the manifesting, we've been doing the asking. Now it's up to us to allow it in, to be operating at the frequencies where we can be open to those opportunities and not pinch, be pinching ourselves off from them. Think about your frequency and how you would react if someone was gonna give you something if you were in the receiving or if you were in the pinched off contractionary state the pattern that we've stuck to to keep safe. The parts have come on board to be able to make this shift in the ways that we really want to. So now we get to allow them. Pay attention to how you're feeling. If you're resenting your partner for having socks on the floor, and you're picking them up again. You can turn every thought, you can resegment every part of your day by thinking, I love having these, these feet that are attached to these socks in my life. And if I have to pick up socks, he's had to put up with a whole bu- bunch of other things that I've had to do. We don't have this issue, but that's what came into my head for whatever reason. Or if, you know, you can, you can choose to feel whichever way, if you're choosing to have 
healthy, happy relationships, if you're making that intention in your alpha state in the morning, it's a lot harder to wake up feeling resentful towards them and all the things that you could look at that might be annoying or set you off, or you could be looking at the things that you just appreciate about them, that you accept about them, that it's your reaction that's going to steer the way things go. We're powerful creators in our life. It's not just that we have to, to on, a, on a 3D level, give something to get something. It's really about operating in the 4D, 5D, and that's sort of where we've been thrust into. And so now it's like these adjustment steps to kind of learn how to walk in this world. Now that we're not having feet in both, we're truly starting to make choices. And if we didn't know our true choices, if we were struggling with it, they're going to become very clear this week if we take that time to actually sit and listen and connect with our heart, do a little bit of meditation, watch a video, read a book, engulf yourself as much as you can with the positive energy, just even paying attention to what you're watching, the kind of stories you're paying attention to, the kind of stories you're telling, the kind of stories you're hearing, what it is that you're going to and not going to have available to you in your field to throw you out. <sighs> Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. I apologize again for not uh, being able to make it at seven. But hopefully this, um, this session is helpful. With solstice energy, I do love making um, some sun water. It's kind of fun. You can put it out. We still have a couple of days of this sort of high powered energy coming in post solstice. So it's not too late to do this. It's a nice time to charge crystals as well. It's a nice time to do some writing fire of the solstice is beautiful so allowing yourself to um i don't even take i don't even usually burn my papers on a solstice but what i'll do is embrace the fire energy by breathing into it so i'll just do a bit of a meditation where i have a candle i use something like this where it's actually this is my guardian angel candle you can even just find them at the dollar store but i hold it and i just breathe at it so that I'm not blowing in the flame, but I'm actually um, holding my candle like this and I'm just breathing out things. You know, I'm just ready to let go of the scarcity. I'm ready to let go of the vibrations of feeling grumpy even, you know, I'm just ready to let go of negative self-talk. I'm ready to let go of anything that comes up. Just I have this little sort of stream of things that I want to just breathe out. I'll say it, take a breath. The next thing comes in, I'm ready to let go of that. That vacuum that we connected with, with Mother Earth, I intentionally let that continue to work because there's going to be things that are going to be pulled out over the last little while. But I want you to just tap into your crown chakra now and just notice if you can feel a little bit of tingling, a little bit of energy just noticing how quickly you can drop back into that crown chakra beautified intensified magnified energy just imagining it opening like a big like i saw a volcano with smoke coming out but then it all of a sudden turned into this lotus flower sitting on top just opening up just expanding and connecting in to the energy just connecting to source just allowing your crown chakra to open a little bit the beautiful thing about the crown chakra is it needs silence so just embrace silence or a, a sound as much as possible it doesn't need to be guided it can be just pure um, energetic stopping for a moment so that you're literally not um you're you don't have any momentum going you can do a little bit of a reset and a restart and resegment and that's a great thing to do especially if you're feeling a little bit off so it's amazing how um, that can work sometimes you even fall asleep because your whole body just goes yeah, like the adrenals just want to shut down to let you reset so i encourage you to let yourself reset a little bit don't don't beat yourself up for needing this it's kind of like this catch-up time uh, and it's going to be really important in moving forward because 
the energy is going to kind of take off where that inspired action is going to come in and you want to have your cup as full as possible as much energy as you can have flowing so that you're able to actually um, really take that inspired action and keep your vibration up as high as possible and have all these beautiful manifestations start to come in we ask you know why hasn't it shown up yet it's because we're there's something that's not quite in alignment so let's reset let's align this let's allow that vacuum to extract anything that we don't need anymore holding us back those stories those patterns just a little bit of a helper in letting it go you have a, a constant let it go button now i'm sending such huge love to you guys enjoy the solstice energy we're going to meet next week friday night for a full moon um meditation so that'll be lots of fun and uh we'll see you next week for a group and uh yeah take it easy this weekend take it easy on yourselves even if it's a busy weekend make sure you at least take a couple moments to just recharge to just plug in plug in the vacuum that seems to be working right now your little shot back just turn it on plug in and uh, allow your energetic field to just expand into that beautiful vibration sending you love thanks everybody bye